This is Daniel Martins with the Apple Maven. So today is July 30th. This is Super Thursday. It's the day that uh, some of the uh, big tech names reported earnings for second calendar quarter. Uh, all of them did very well pretty much across the board, uh, but I'm here today to talk about Apple. So Apple topped uh, estimates for pretty much everything, for total revenues, for EPS, for the different product categories, and for the different geographic segments. In fact, all of those were uh, up year over year, which I thought was really impressive. Uh, I've called this a historic quarter for Apple uh, because the company was able to deliver very solid results in the middle of a global pandemic. So that was very, very impressive. Now I wanna talk about nuance a little bit and uh, share with you just a couple of thoughts from things that I've picked up by uh, going through the earnings release and then listening to the earnings call. So the first thing that I would say is that uh, Apple did not provide guidance for fiscal fourth quarter, which I thought was uh, expected. That's exactly what I had been expecting. And, uh, but the one thing that I wasn't um, anticipating is that Apple would make it pretty much official that the iPhone uh, 12 or whatever it ends up being called, the 5G version of it will be delayed by what the CFO has uh, called a few weeks. So Apple did not provide additional color, but now we know officially that the iPhone uh, 12 5G version will not come out and be available until probably October, hopefully, but maybe even into November, as was the case of the iPhone 10 in 2017. So that's not good news, it's bad news, but I believe that uh, those were news that were already being anticipated and fully priced into the stock. So I don't think that that's going to be a negative for the stock or for investor sentiment. The other thing that I would uh, say, the second one, is that, uh, yes, so Apple's quarter was great across the board, um, but you could probably break it down into two different parts. So there was uh, April on one hand, and then there was May and June on the other hand. So April was a soft month. Um, the performance was not very good. That's basically right after the bottom of the COVID-19 crisis in the US and some other uh, countries in Europe and in the Americas. Uh, but May and June were very strong months of recovery. So pretty much uh, all the upside that Apple was able to get in fiscal third quarter came from May and June. And the reason why that's relevant is because even though Apple did not provide guidance for fiscal fourth quarter, the trend, the intra-quarter trend kind of suggests that, uh, that fiscal fourth quarter will probably be uh, pretty good for, for Apple. So that's the good news. And then lastly, uh, I don't wanna just um, you know, pick apart and find areas of weakness uh, on a day when pretty much almost everything else was, was, was good news, everything else was strong, but I would say that Greater China did not quite impress me. I was expecting China to be one of the strongest uh, geographic segments in, uh, in the fiscal third quarter, especially because the country came out of the COVID-19 um, crisis ahead of everybody else since it started there. Uh, but that's not what we saw. We saw revenue growth of 2%, which I thought was, uh, was timid. It wasn't bad, but it was very modest. Now, Tim Cook, during the call, he clarified that that number would have been plus 6%, if not for um, currency effects that were, that were not favorable. Uh, so plus 6% looks a little bit better. Uh, and he did mention that what worked in China was the Mac, the iPad, and services. I did not hear him say anything about the iPhone which uh, I'm assuming it was the soft spot in China. So once again, Apple is, even though Apple released the iPhone SE in April and they claimed that the phone was a huge success uh, coming out of, uh, of, of that launch, it looks like it didn't, it didn't really help the company in China. So Apple's uh, problems in, uh, in the Far East still need to be resolved when it comes to the smartphone and we'll have to wait and find out uh, how that situation gets resolved uh, going forward. So that's all that I have for you. Uh, be sure to visit uh, thestreet.com slash Apple, uh, where I will be posting more updates on Apple's uh, earnings report over the next few days. And uh, be sure to follow us there. Thanks so much. Have a good one.